5 powerful After Effects expression that going to change your motion graphics game forever. I'm going to walk you through all of them, explaining their power and weaknesses. So with that said, let's begin. So here we are in After Effects with a simple comp and some illustrator layers. These are just basic shape with some gradient thrown over them. With this expression, we can dynamically change any layer scale property with a null object. So the idea is wherever I move this null over, any of these layers, their scale gonna get affected based on the null layers anchor points position. So I've copied the expression already. I'm going to select one layer hit S to reveal its scale property. Then I'm gonna hold Alt and click over the stopwatch to add the expression. Now you can see how this null is affecting the layer scale. As the anchor point of the null goes to the center of the layer, it grows to its maximum size and as it moves further, it shrinks down to its original size. Now if you open up the expression and go down, you'll find the maximum and the minimum scale respectively. And these values can be changed to your heart's content. Once happy, select the property you have applied the expression to, then go to edit, copy expression only, select the rest of the layers and hit Ctrl V to paste it. And now you can see if I move the null, how all the layers are reacting to it. You can even go individual layers and change their maximum and minimum scale values to animate all of the layer scale randomly. Now let's talk about some of the limitations of this expression. So if I change the null one layer's name to something else and then paste the expression, it will not work. You will get this error. It's happening because the way this expression was written. It's actually searching for the null one controller in the comp, but if it's changed or if the comp doesn't have any null layer, it will not work. So remember, a null layer with a proper name as in null1 have to be there in the comp. But you can change the null layer's name after you apply the expression and it will still work. Another limitation is how the layers are scaled. Here I have this comp with some simple solid layers with mask applied. Now if I apply the expression to one of these layers, you can see it kind of works, but there are some issues with it. Now in order to animate the scale, I really need to move this null really really far from the solid. Basically the way this expression is written, it only sees those scale values in those exact numbers we have written. So it fails to consider the layer's actual true scale value. Thus it expands the null's area of effect. So the workaround for this will be to remove the expression, then pre-comp the layer into its own new comp, then go inside that comp and use the region of interest to crop the comp. This doesn't need to be 100% accurate, you can eyeball it. Back in the main comp, you might need to change the position again depending on your layer scale. And now if I reapply the expression over these comp, it will work perfectly like before. So other than these two flaws, it works like a charm. And again, it's a really powerful expression. Okay, so the next expression is as same as the previous one. But this time we used a null to control the position of the layers. Just alt click over the layers position property and paste it. This expression will shift the layer in the X axis. If you open up the expression and go down, you will see something called max offset x and this is the value which gonna determine how much the layer gonna move. Positive value will shift it to the right side and negative value will shift it to the left. Unfortunately the limitations of the previous expressions are here too so keep that in mind. And yes you can use both of these expressions on the same layer and pre-comps and use a single null to control them all. With our next expression, we can maintain our child layer's original orientation without messing up their inherited rotation. In this comp, I have a shape layer with few illustrator layers around it. 
and this shape layer is rotating over time as you can see. Now look what happened if I select all of the illustrator layers and parent them to this shape layer. You can see the child layers have inherited the rotation but they also lose their own orientation. They are orienting on their parent layer. This expression gonna help us maintain the child layer's own original orientation. I'll select one of the layers and hit R to reveal its rotation property. Hold Alt and click over it and paste our expression. And now you can see how this particular layer is maintaining its original orientation. Let's copy paste the expression to the rest of the layers and we can see how it works. This expression works with normal layers, text, shape layers and pre-coms. So go have fun with it. This After Effects expression compensates a layer's scale value to account for the scale of its parent layer. So in this new comp, I have a red solid layer with a mask in the center of the composition and it is surrounded by similar white solids. And there is a scale animation on the red one. Now if I select all the white layers and parent them to this red layer, look what happens. In After Effects, when you parent a layer to another layer and adjust the parent layer scale, the child layer scale is affected proportionally. If you don't want this, this is where this expression will come in handy. I'll select any of the layer and hit S to reveal its scale property. Hold Alt and click, then paste this expression. Then I'll copy paste it to the rest of the child layers. Now we can see the child layers are appearing unchanged visually, regardless of the parent scale. The child layer visually retain its original size because its scale has been adjusted to offset the parent's influence. This is quite a powerful expression and can help you achieve some really cool dynamic animations. This expression will let you change a child layer's rotation based on its parent's position value. To demonstrate, here I have this illustrator file with a car body and two wheel layers. I'm going to select both of the wheel layers and parent them to the car body layer. Then I'm going to add the expression to both of the layers rotation property. And now you can see if I move the car how the wheels are rotating automatically. If you go inside this expression, the last value is actually the rotation multiplier. You can increase or decrease this value to get your desired rotation speed. You can even add negative values. So when the parent moves forward, the child rotates backward. This is a great expression for rigging a car but I'm pretty sure that you guys can find alternative ways to use this. So with this next expression, it will allow you to stick the gradient ramp over a layer. Here in this comp, I have this simple text layer with a gradient ramp effect applied over it. Now, if you animate the text, you can see the gradient is not sticking over it. It looks like the text is running through a gradient map. This expression basically fixed the two points on the top and the bottom of the layer. So I'm going to hold Alt and click, then add our first expression to the start of ramp parameter and add another expression to the end of ramp parameter. And now you can see this gradient is sticking over this text and you can still modify their colors without any issues. But there are some limitations to this expression. In this new comp, I have this solid and I've pasted our previous effect with the expression attached. Look what happens when I change the scale value. The gradient point moves over the layer and I haven't found any other way to dynamically update this. The same issue is happening with this pre-comp. For some reason, it's taking the gradient points to the very top and bottom without taking under consideration what is inside the pre-comp. 
Your best bet is to use this expression with text layers. I think that's the best place for this expression. So there you go. All the expressions shown in this tutorial are provided in this file, which you can download from my Gumroad page for free. So go get it. I hope you find this expressions useful. By any chance, you can modify or update these expressions to benefit them even more. Do let me know. I would love to learn those updates. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below. I would love to reply them all. Now, if you enjoyed this video and learned something, please do hit that like button. It really helps a lot. Share it and consider subscribing to the channel for more motion graphics content. Let's make 2025 amazing. Take care of yourself and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye guys.